Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Corsair Dominator Platinum Memory Kit and this kit in particular is the 8GB module kit it comes with a pair of 4GB DDR3 memory and of course the Dominator series is Corsair's highest end line and as such these are of course hand-picked memory chips and they're uh, designed so that you can uh, get the most out of the performance and uh, let's open up this package see what you can find a memory kit and what the kit looks like of course uh, it is a memory model so it comes with a lifetime warranty from Corsair and each memory module is packed individually as with previous dominator modules you can see the uh, DHX cooling system right on top but of course uh, slightly different is you also have this light bar if you look closely that is an LED strip all the way across the top by default the standard um, Corsair memory modules uh, their Dominator Platinum will come with a white LED strip but uh, Corsair will also release replaceable LEDs later on uh, depending on uh, user what uh, what type of LED color you want and uh, let's take a look at the name here this of course to decipher it closely uh, you can see there that it has 1600 C9 that means it has 1600 megahertz with a Cas9 latency 99924 and you also get a 1.5 volt uh, voltage requirement for this memory module as you can see in there uh, as for the size it is slightly uh, larger than a regular memory module also uh, as with previous uh, uh, Corsair products, you also have the Corsair link in there to monitor the uh, temperature and the IC of course for uh, more precise overclocking and uh, the PCB itself is slightly taller than most PCBs as an extended area in there that leads to the uh, DHX cooling and of course the body is uh, kind of this high quality aluminum body uh, for the heat spreader so there's a plastic there so uh, actually this is a sticker badge of the Corsair logo and the top you have the aluminum bar that houses the the LED lighting strip and in terms of measurement for those who are uh, wondering I have here the Corsair Vengeance which is uh, I believe it's just slightly smaller than the Corsair uh, Dominator see here in terms of height the uh, aluminum bar on top is um, uh, it's about a, a millimeter taller and let's take our tape measure in here measure the memory module See the height in there from uh, from the uh, top end to the PCB is around five and a half centimeters, right? Five point uh, just a little over five point five centimeters. So I would say five point six. And then uh, of course uh, you would need when it when it's installed in your motherboard, it will not uh, count that PCB height. Uh, it will count the uh, from the heat spreader all the way to the top. Of course, depending on your um, heat sink. You will, uh, you might be able to have some clearance with the Corsair Dominator Platinum memory modules installed. Of course, if you have uh, something like the Corsair H100, you'll have no problems at all since there is no um, the the self-contained liquid cooling system such as the Corsair H100 will have no clearance issues with the memory modules like this one because there is no overhang right on top. So what you should do now is of course complete opening up these packages and uh, I. Also, these uh, memory modules, the Dominator Platinums, are compatible, of course, with the latest AMD as well as Intel systems. So that means uh, even Ivy Bridge, which will be our test bed. And if you add two more, you can fit it into an uh, X79 system for a quad channel configuration that is also compatible. And uh, for those who uh, are a little shy with overclocking, manual overclocking, you can do is uh, you can load the XMP profile of course the Dominator Platinum is XMP 1.3 compatible so easy loading of the uh, the features in there the uh, timing and the speed of the memory so that's what you do now again put it in our Ivy Ridge system and see how well the Corsair Dominator Platinum 8 gigabyte memory modules which we have two that will be 16 gigabytes in total performs in an Ivy Ridge system as well as we of course we're going to overclock it and also try to find the tightest timing you can find with uh, 1.5 volts. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.